Welcome to the 2024 HESI Chemistry Practice Test. This test will have 40 questions with explained answers that will help you prepare for the test. Be sure to resuscitate the like button by turning it white. Question 1. What is the name of the law that connects particle count to volume? A. Boyle's Law B. Charles's Law C. Doyle's Law D. Avogadro's Law The correct answer is D. Avogadro's Law According to Avogadro's law, the total number of atoms or molecules in any gas is inversely correlated with the volume of that gas occupied at constant pressure and temperature. V equals Kn or V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2 is how Avogadro's equation is expressed. Question 2. Which of the following is not a way in which a cell may gain energy? A. Photosynthesis. B. Glycolysis. C. Oxidative phosphorylation. D. Diffusion. The correct answer is D. Diffusion. Eukaryotic cells use energy pathways, including photosynthesis, glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation to create energy-rich molecules like ATP and NADH, starting with energy supplies derived from their environment in the form of sunlight and organic food molecules. Question 3. What name is given to a compound that cannot be converted by regular chemical processes into simpler chemical substances? A. Atom. B. Ion. C. Element. D. Proton. The correct answer is C. Element. Element refers to a straightforward substance that cannot be divided into smaller components or transformed into another chemical in chemistry. An atom which is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons, is the fundamental unit of an element. An element's atoms all contain the same number of protons. Question 4. How could the greenhouse effect be impacted by a hydrogen fuel cell? A. When it operates, it releases carbon dioxide. B. In the process of making hydrogen fuel, carbon dioxide is produced. C. A small amount of hydrogen escapes from the cell and fuels it. D. It produces more power. The correct answer is B. In the process of making hydrogen fuel, carbon dioxide is produced. Carbon dioxide will be produced since fossil fuels are used in the manufacturing of hydrogen fuel. Due to the fact that the only byproducts of hydrogen fuel cells functioning are heat and water, they are essentially a clean source of energy. Hydrogen production doesn't require a lot of land, unlike biofuel or hydropower. Question 5. Which law describes the relationship between volume and temperature with constant pressure and volume? A. Boyle's law. B. Charles's law. C. Doyle's law. D. Edelgas law. The correct answer is B. Charles's law. The volume of a gas is equal to a constant amount multiplied by the temperature of the gas, as determined by the Kelvin scale, according to the physical principle known as Charles's law. The equation of the law is PV equals K. Question 6. What is the metric prefix meaning one hundredth? A. Centi. B. Milli. C. Micro. D. Nano. The correct answer is A. Centi. In the SI, multiples and subdivisions of any unit can be designated by combining its name with the prefixes deca, hecto, and kilo, which represent 10, 100, and 1,000, respectively, and deci, centi, and milli, which represent tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, respectively. Question 7. What is the pH of an acid? A. Greater than 7. B. Greater than 5.5. C. Less than 7. D. Less than 6.5. The correct answer is C, less than 7. Anything that is acidic is below 7.0, while everything that is alkaline or basic is above 7.0. A pH scale that lists the pH values of common substances and ranges from 0, extremely basic, alkaline, to 14, very basic, alkaline. Question 8. What term defines the affiliation of two atoms within a molecule? A, chemical bond. B, non-chemical bond. C, atomic bond. D. Chemical change. The correct answer is A. Chemical bond. 
Atoms are bound together by bonds known as chemical bonds. The power that holds ions or molecules together is this force. It aids the synthesis of a chemical molecule. Water, sodium chloride, and carbon dioxide are a few examples of the chemical substances that are particularly interesting to biologists. Question 9. Which of the following energy types cannot be either absorbed or released as a result of a chemical reaction? A. Electricity. B. Sound. C. Heat. D. Metal. The correct answer is D. Metal. Heat, light, sound, and electricity are the four types of energy that can be received or released during a chemical process. There are four different types of energy that are either released or absorbed during a chemical reaction. Heat in an endothermic reaction, electricity in electrolysis, light in photosynthesis, and sound in molecular breaking. Question 10. What constitutes the primary energy source in the environment? A. Water. B. Oxygen. C. Sun. D. Heat. The correct answer is C. Sun. Most of the energy on Earth comes from the sun, which is where it all began. Sunlight provides us with solar thermal energy and can also be used by solar photovoltaic cells to generate electricity. The Earth's surface is heated by the sun and the air above it is also heated, creating wind. Question 11. What term defines a functional group made up of an OH group and a carbonyl group? A. Carbonyl group. B. Carboxylate ion. C. Carboxyl group. D. Catalyst. The correct answer is C. Carboxyl group. Carboxyl groups, also known as hydroxyl, single-bonded OH, and carbonyl, double-bonded O groups, are made up of two functional groups that are joined to a single carbon atom. The carbonyl group, C equals O, and the hydroxyl group are what give the carboxyl, COOH, group its name. They consist of amino acids and carboxylic acids. Question 12. Which of the following is not considered an alloy? A. Steel. B. Bronze. C. Duralumin. D. Chromium. The correct answer is D. Chromium. To alter a base metal's chemical makeup and improve its inherent qualities, alloys add other elements to it. Metal alloys come in a wide variety of forms, and they can be combined in virtually countless ways. Alloys including stainless steel, aluminum, bronze, and nickel are among the most widely used materials. Question 13. What term defines the maximum strength of strong acid or basic that a buffer can withstand? A. Buffer capacity. B. Calorimetry. C. Bond order. D. Bond energy. The correct answer is A. Buffer capacity. Buffer capacity, beta, is a unitless quantity that is calculated by dividing the amount of an acid or base required to raise the pH of a solution by 1 by the pH change and the volume of buffer in liters. By consuming the buffer, a buffer prevents pH changes caused by the addition of an acid or base. Question 14. Which of the following is not a type of chemical reaction that is important to the human body? A. Exchange. B. Oxidation. C. Synthesis. D. Decomposition. The correct answer is B. Oxidation. Synthesis. Breakdown and exchange are the three primary types of chemical reactions that are crucial to human physiology. Water molecules are frequently formed in the body through synthesis reactions and broken down through decomposition events, respectively. Water is produced as a byproduct in a synthesis reaction known as a dehydration synthesis reaction. A water-based degradation reaction is known as a hydrolysis reaction. Question 15. Which of the following is not a type of energy transfer? A. Convection. B. Conduction. C. Radiation. D. Oxidation. The correct answer is D. Oxidation. There is an oxidation reaction when oxygen interacts with a substance or an element. The process of removing hydrogen from the reactant species is another definition of oxidation. A molecule, atom, or ion undergoes oxidation when it loses electrons. Question 16. 
Which one of the following elements is needed in the process of rusting? A. Oxygen. B. Hydrogen. C. Nitrogen. D. Aluminum. The correct answer is A. Oxygen. Oxidation, which results from a reaction caused by oxygen, is the process that causes rusting. It results in a flaky brown layer that builds up on iron surfaces. This layer is caused by the oxidation of the top layer, which produces metal oxide. These layers do occur on other metals, such as copper, silver, and gold, but not exclusively on iron. Question 17. What term defines the mass-weighted average of the isotope masses that make up an element? A. Atomic mass. B. Cell mass. C. Atomic radius. D. Base radius. The correct answer is A. Atomic mass. The mass of each isotope is multiplied by its abundance to produce the atomic mass, which is a weighted average of all the isotopes of that element. The sum of an element's mass number and its number of protons and neutrons is given by the formula mass. Number equals protons plus neutrons. Question 18. What fuels a cell's chemical energy production? A. ATP. B. DHA. C. DNA. D. ADP. The correct answer is A. ATP. All living things contain the energy-carrying molecule, adenosine triphosphate, ATP, in their cells. When food molecules are broken down, chemical energy is released that is captured by ATP and used to power other cellular operations. Question 19. How is potassium represented as an element in the periodic table? A. P negative. B. K positive. C. P positive. D. PO positive. The correct answer is B. K positive. The chemical element potassium has the atomic number 19 and the letter K, which stands for kalium in Neo-Latin. The English term pot ash, which was employed to separate potassium salts, is where the word potassium originates. We acquire the letter K from the name kalium, which the German chemist Martin Heinrich Klaproth gave to the element. Alkali was derived from the Arabic word alkalia, which means plant ashes. Question 20. Which term defines the transformation of a gas into a liquid? A. Condensation. B. Conversion. C. Liquify. D. Critical point. The correct answer is A. Condensation. The opposite of vaporization. Condensation is the transition of a substance from its gaseous to its liquid state. The term can also refer to cloud condensation nuclei in the atmosphere or the transformation of water vapor into liquid water when in contact with a liquid or solid surface. The term cycle most frequently refers to the water cycle. Deposition is the term used to describe a change that occurs when a solid phase immediately changes from a gaseous phase. Thank you for watching this video and we hope it was helpful. Click right here for more HESI practice test videos or take your free HESI practice test right here.